Welcome to Harvest Key, a lush island escape for guests of Norwegian Cruise Line who call on the jewel while enjoying leisure in the Caribbean. Its emerald green waters, pristine stretch of white sandy beach, and a botanical garden which boasts a cornucopia of tropical plant life are all features that accentuate the beauty of this tourist attraction. It's a sunny day, the sky is clear and from a distance we're able to make out a very distinct aspect of the island as we approach journey's end. Towering high above the coconut trees, a lighthouse stands magnificently in the backdrop. Drawing closer, we realize that this coastal beacon is in fact the support structure for a pair of zip lines that span great lengths in either direction. The flighthouse, like the sprawling swimming pool elsewhere on the exclusive property, are among many characteristics that define Harvest Key. You know, we focused a, a lot on things that people can do without being charged. Um, so the pool is obviously a great feature. It's 15,000 square feet. I'm sure it's, the, it's probably the biggest in Belize. Um, if it's not the biggest in the, in the Western Caribbean, it's close to it. Um, even when the big ship is in, 4,500 passengers, the pool doesn't seem crowded. So too is the butterfly farm, a green enclosure that's teeming with insects of various species. With equal emphasis on flora and fauna, there's a lot to see on Harvest Key, including a terrarium which houses juvenile boa constrictors. When we were developing the island, we came across boas on the island, so this one is actually from the island. A lot of the offshore keys have boas on them, as you probably know already. Well-known wildlife conservationist Tony Garrell is a member of staff here. He's part of a group of about 230 Belizeans employed directly by NCL. Jobs on the island are as diverse as they come. I'm incredibly proud of, our, of the team that we've created here. So we have, when I say we, Belize Island Holdings Limited, which is our operating company, has 230 full-time staff uh, Belizeans working on the island. We also have some in our offices on Malacate. Our food and beverage uh, concession, uh, Provisions Belize, which is Mr. Bowen, has another 130. And probably there's another 50 in the retail program. So there's close to 400 locals working on the island. Among them is a pair of Maya women dressed in traditional garb. Together, they have journeyed from the mainland to find work on the island. Skilled in weaving and basketry, the duo has woven trinkets and other items for sale on the retail floor. I believe that the livelihood of the Southern Belize people will start to flourish. I believe that Southern Belize, uh, with Mr. Wilson, there are at least uh, over 60 persons that are being employed. The both honors, and I think it's Mr. Romero from down south who is being contracted by Mr. Wilson to do. All the drivers are Belizeans. Likewise, if you look at the kitchens over here, Dustin's is in one from my constituency, and, and uh, I consider him a, a, a real San Pedrano. The Minister of Tourism is referring to Dustin Bowen. The celebrated chef is a recognized face of the Riverside Tavern. Bowen's business venture is quite similar to his restaurant and bar in Belize City. The major difference, however, is the scale of the operation that Landshark has undertaken. We were very honored to get the contract and also um, very aware of the challenge um, based on the numbers and the volumes that you're talking about. But we've had a lot of support coming from Norwegian Cruise Line um, with their staff, their executive chefs, uh, trainers. On the same token, uh, Margaritaville, uh, which is a Jimmy Buffett brand along with Landshark, uh, has brought down a team to help us train and go through these processes to ensure that we are successful in, in, in knowing how to handle these volumes and these particulars. Notwithstanding the myriad of amenities and highlights on Harvest Key, the initiative isn't without its share of criticisms and detractors. The exotic location has been compared to an island in San Francisco Bay known as Alcatraz, simply meaning that once on the island, tourists are not able to escape elsewhere to enjoy the Belizean experience. That dysphemism, if you allow other tourism operators to tell it, is farthest from the truth. We're, we're the primary tour operator here for the time being. Uh, we have five tours here currently. Four are on shore and one is a marine tour. Uh, we, the NCL, Tenders bring in the guests in the morning. Uh, we put them on buses, and those buses take them to various venues, uh, some in Toledo District, um, and there's one up in the uh, Stang Creek District. Uh, also have a marine tour that is run off the island. Since its inception, NCL has had to contend with industry stakeholders 
who are intent on seeing the project's demise. Having come this far, the company is still under fire from local operators, particularly from the Federation of Cruise Tourism Associations of Belize. FECTAB maintains that Harvest Key is robbing Belizean tour operators of their livelihoods. We've been working with the government, with BTB, for years on this project and everyone knows what we were planning to do. Everybody knew what the start date was um, and actually, as you know, we delayed this project a year so the, the folks in Belize City got an extra 12, almost 12 months of calls from us than was originally planned and was, uh, was originally communicated. So everyone knew what, what the start was for Harvest Key. If they're taking passenger bookings on for days that the ship they knew wasn't going to be in Belize City, I, I don't understand how that could happen. I mean, obviously, there are other, other folks that, um, that don't appreciate what we're doing or don't understand what we're doing. But really, we're very focused, we're very guest focused as an organization. Our first, um, first concern always is guest satisfaction. And apart from the job creations, which is the bigger part of what we envision, the creation of jobs, we still have our, in a, the same taxes that are collected in, in the village are being collected over here uh, through the Belize Tourism Board. So it will be additional monies that will, be, that will be able to be spent for marketing, not only for cruise only, but for overnight tourism also. So there again, there we have a substantial benefit that will be deriving from, in, I think it's in $4 in, in, uh, per head that is being paid. That is US $4 per person who disembarks from NCL's vessels. The largest cruise ship calling to port at Harvest Key carries approximately 4,500 passengers. That's about 36,000 Belize dollars in taxes, and that's because on average, there are three ships that call to port here weekly. All things considered, a private investment north of 50 million US dollars, job creation and economic stimulus. Is Harvest Key really Alcatraz, or is it paradise as its owners describe it? Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Keitano.